We want to begin now with some breaking news. Rapper Lil Durk is charged in a murder for hire plot. Lil Durk's real name is Durk Bank and he is from Chicago. This is his mugshot from Florida where he was arrested last night and is being held without bond. This comes only hours after five people associated with his music business were also accused in taking part in that murder for hire plot. Now the plot targeted Robert, rapper Quando Rondo's cousin who was killed in 2022. Investigators believe it was retaliation for the earlier murder of Chicago rapper King Vaughn. So after Dirk's arrest was announced, it looks like they stripped him off the key. But before we get into the whole statement that it was released, let's talk about the recent news that has come out on Lil Dirk. It looks like Lil Dirk had three flights booked. And it, 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 it looks to me like he was trying to like take a book out of Diddy's page and book three flights and take one to Italy while there were other two different flights going elsewhere and maybe like what they distract the authorities or whatnot you know what I mean like so he was scheduled to leave at nine o'clock and that's when the feds came and snatched him up before he left the country Lil Durk was trying to skate and bounce Lil Durk was actually trying to do the take hey, and do a hundred miles per hour on a jet and be out this country now nah, but all jokes aside right it looks like the feds got reports that the life of the family members of those who've been cooperating slash snitching on Lil Dirk have been receiving threatening phone calls or whatnot. And this doesn't make it any better, man. You guys want to act like y'all want to ride for Dirk and sending threats out or whatever the case may be. Listen, all y'all doing is showing how much power Dirk and how many people were really riding for him, right? Y'all going to turn him into what? Larry Hoover type shit? Like... People need to stop moving on emotions, man. It is what it is, man. He had opportunity to change his life and stop doing whatever he was doing. He put himself in jail. I got people in my comment section telling me, oh, you been wishing jail on this dude or whatever, whatever, this, that, and the third. I don't wish jail on nobody. Unless you touching on people, you know, shorties or whatnot, and, and, and abusing older folks and all that, I don't wish jail on nobody, all right? Let's make sure we get that clear. I'm out here in the community giving back, actually putting in the footwork, speaking to these kids. You know what I mean? I just recently put my application so I can start going back to the jails to talk to the youth offenders or whatnot. You know, I work in addiction services as a counselor. I do all types of work in the field to try to make sure I help the route to the mental health trauma that goes on to these kids in the community. So let's start there if you guys really want to get technical. Let's read this statement that the mayor put out, stripping little Dirk from the keys of the city. From Village of Broadview, Mayor Katrina Thompson. While the American system of justice grants everyone the presumption of innocence until proven guilty in a court of law, in the Village of Broadview, the court of public opinion of residents has even higher moral and ethical standards of behavior, and our public partners must also reflect the same uncompromising standards demanded by our residents. Given the news that Dirk Lil Dirk Banks has been arrested in Florida and charged with murder for hire, the village of Broadview is withdrawing our honorary key to the village granted to Dirk and is terminating our partnership agreement with his youth organization, Neighborhood Heroes Foundation. As mayor, protecting Broadview's interests and upholding the values of residents is IOB number one. Y'all really want to know why Lil Dirk stopped paying for Move Off's lawyer? Y'all really want to know? Make sure y'all hit that like button because what I'm about to say is going to shake the internet. I see a few blogs talking about how old block and another indictment is coming or whatnot. That Lil Dirk and them OTF was having another indictment. All right, so let's get into why Lil Dirk stopped paying for Move Off's lawyer. He actually didn't stop paying for the lawyer because he want to leave Move Off for dead. Y'all know why he stopped paying for the lawyer? Dirk's lawyer advised Dirk to cut all ties with any of the members, Oblock, Muwap. Once Dirk received news that he's gonna get indicted by the feds, cause your lawyer knows when, you, when the feds is coming to get you, you know they're coming to get you. Dirk knows the feds is coming to get him. His lawyer told Dirk, you need to cut all ties well, any members, that's the reason why Dirk said he don't need no negative energy around him. He didn't stop paying for Muwap's lawyer because he was just trying to leave Muwap for dead. He had no choice. Omega 
drip exclusive.